In this video, you will explore the basic Health Connect Cloud functions within the InterSystems Cloud Services portal. When you begin working with Health Connect Cloud, there are two main portals you interact with. The Cloud Services portal shown here, which serves as your central access point for most cloud-based services provided by InterSystems, and a tailored version of the InterSystems System Management Portal, which includes only the functionality required for Health Connect Cloud. Let's see how to view your current deployments. Once you are logged into the Cloud Services Portal, the Deployments page will list each deployment and label it by type. Here, there are three Health Connect Cloud deployments visible, Development, Testing, and Production. By clicking a deployment card in the list, you can explore more details about that Health Connect Cloud deployment. Within the Overview tab for this deployment, the Deployment Details table provides information about your system, including its size, the number of cores and amount of memory allocated, the cloud provider and region in which the deployment is provisioned, and more. In the Health Connect Cloud Details table, there is additional information you will use when integrating with other systems, such as accepting messages from downstream systems or communicating with your internal systems. In the Version table, you can see what version of Health Connect Cloud your deployment is running, whether an updated version is available, and the release notes for the most recent version updates. Next, let's explore the Tenants tab. A tenant is a collection of deployments in Health Connect Cloud. Recall that in this tenant, there are three deployments, development, testing, and production. On the tenants page, administrators can invite new cloud services portal users to a tenant, as well as change user permissions. Users who have been added to a tenant will have access to view its deployments and associated configurations. Navigating back to one of the Health Connect Cloud deployments, let's take a look at some of the deployment-specific functions you can perform from the cloud services portal. In the left-hand menu, you'll see a Connect Users link. The users you invited previously were tenant-level users, which perform administrative work on the Health Connect Cloud instances in a given tenant. Let's create a new Health Connect Cloud user who can access the system management portal and perform interface development on a given deployment. On the Connect Users page, you will see a list of current system management portal users for this particular deployment, as well as instructions for new users to follow when logging in for the first time. Click the Create User button and enter the new user's username and email. Then click Create. The user will then receive an email containing a temporary password they can use to create a new permanent password. Once they do so, they will be directed to log in again. Heading back to the Cloud Services Portal, access the Deployments Management Portal using the System Management link in the left-hand menu. While the Cloud Services Portal is used for the tenant-level functions shown in this video, the System Management Portal provides interface-level functionality, such as viewing production components and messages. Finally, let's see how to create a new production for your Health Connect Cloud users to work on. Navigate to the Productions page in the left-hand menu. Type a name for your production into the Name field, and the Create Production button will become clickable. When you create a production in Health Connect Cloud, a corresponding namespace and database are also automatically created. Note that productions and namespaces created here in the Cloud Services Portal will inherit all of the code in the repo namespace. This namespace is created with all Health Connect Cloud deployments for shared code, so be sure to only add items to repo that you want other namespaces to inherit. A few moments after creating your production, you will see it has a status of running and a timestamp showing the time it was started.